everyone. Uh, we're going to go take you through uh, our game lesson. And uh, what you need for this, uh, it's very simple. I know you have a cricket bat at home. Uh, you can, uh, I know you can find a ball, a tennis ball. Or if uh, most of you guys, I know you have an orange ball like this. And then for this, that is for cricket and a stand. And then for netball, I think um, you can use a netball ball or you can use a football ball if you, if you have one at home. Um, uh, my name is Coach Bernard, and then uh, you all know Coach David, so Coach David, please introduce yourself. Hi everyone, uh, this is Coach David from Cabina School, so I'm going to take you to warm-up drills, then after that we're going to move for the netball with Coach Bernard, which we're going to show you some drills using your wall, or if you have uh, someone at home, maybe your sister, your brother, mom, dad, whoever is there. So we are going to show you how you can work with, the, with them. So either wall or if you have a partner. So welcome. setup because you don't need a bigger place because for now the situation we are into we can use the ground so we can use the compound and uh, even your how do we call it veranda your, your house any space the smaller if you have the smallest space or big one the bigger the better but we can use any space so for now I'm going to show you to use our smaller uh, space to show you how to do your warm-up so please pay attention and uh, yeah, you're welcome, okay? So you can use your shoe, or if you have a cone at home, okay, you can use it, or you can use your shoe, or you can take your brother or your sister's shoe, you can just put there, okay? Then you can count, because you can't just run randomly, you can just count the steps. So me, I'm going to count, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So those are my steps. So I'm going to show you the warm up, okay? Then we. Then after warm up, because you can't do any sport when your muscles are cold, you have to warm them up so that you can get the movement. Okay, so I'm going to start with jogging, just a short jogging. Okay, as you can see, so you just do one because this is warm up. You need to you need to put a bit of speed. Okay, two, three, and it's good also to touch down. Okay, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we're going to move to the next one. You say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, nine, ten. 11 and 12. Good. Once you're done with that, try to breathe in. You can roll your waist or you can roll the back of your head at least to get the air. Okay? Then we are going to do the sideways, sideways one. Okay, this one, make sure your legs are, your knees are a bit bent. Okay? Make sure your knees are a bit bent so that you can get the movement. Okay? Do not do it like this, okay? This will damage your your back and your knee, knees, okay? So try to be in this try to be in this position, okay, everyone? You can watch. One, two, three, touch. One, two, touch. One, two, touch. One, two, touch. And it's good to keep your head straight, okay? Because you know you've already did the counting. So you know, so you can do, because I think I have a big step, so I'll see how many, one, two, three, touch. So I know it's three, one, two, three, because for edge, maybe you can use four or five steps. So you have to keep it on your, your mind. One, two, touch, 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 touch. 
Stretch. Try to do 10. Okay. Okay. Then now I can feel my, I'm warm. So now I'll go for my stretching quickly. Then we'll move to the main activity. Okay, so I'll start with quick stretching. So I prefer to loosen your shoulders. Okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Let's go sideways. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go up here. You can see my my stand, my position. Push it there. One, two, three, four, five. Then now you can stand on your toe. Push it up there. One, two, three, four, five. Good. In total, those are ten. Then let's stretch our legs. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go down here. You can see where my toe is facing. This is very good for your hamstring. For your hamstring. Okay, touch your toe. You can see, do not touch here because you, you won't feel anything. You can see where I'm reaching. Yeah. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do the butt stretch. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Let's change to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. So the, the other one I did on that angle. So this one I'll do it facing straight so that you can see from both angles. So you can see. You can see where my toe is facing. You can see the, this part of my feet. So you touch there. This one you touch here. Then you go for five six seven eight nine ten then you have to feel it here okay if you don't feel it here then you're doing something wrong which that can bring some problem in your body then we do this one because i know we all know this four five six seven eight nine ten good so after that now i'm going to take you there uh, we are going to show you, me and Coach Barnard, how to do your cricket drills at home and also how to do your volleyball netball at home by using a partner or using a wall. Very nice everyone, since we're done, we're done with the warm-up session, now I'll take you to, through our cricket drills. Nice and easy, what you need is a tennis ball and, and, and your wall at home. Uh, and before you start, these are your, you're supposed to set up there, you're throwing the ball there to the wall, catching it. You can see there I'm doing it there. Let's do ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done. This type of exercise is very easy. You can do it by yourself at home by by by, by using a ball and a wall. So let us increase the challenge. So this time. Let us throw with our right hand and catch it with our right hand. Nice. So ten of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Left. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you can do reverse cup or the or the normal cup. Nine and ten. Well done. Once you're done with that, you can uh, keep your cricket bat 
And at home, uh, you, some of you, you might have a stamp, or um, if, you don't have, if you don't have stamps, you can, use, you can use chair, or you can use a bucket. So from this angle, I'm going to use a bucket, and from this other side, I'm going to use, a cricket, uh, to use cricket stamps. And the next exercise is very easy, so we're going to do a bit of batting warm-up. As you place the ball down on the ground there, make sure the ball is not moving. You're batting from here. So I start one. And you can see what I'm doing there. You can see my head position and the way I'm shifting weight. Nice and easy. And when you're doing it, make sure the bat is coming along your body, so not from this, no, no, not across the line, or not from behind there. There. And look at my position. My head is on top of the bat, the bat is on top of the ball. Very nice. You can't miss this ball. Whether you want to drive it or whether you want to block it. Let's do 10. Five, let me show you from this angle. This other side, I'm going to use my bucket uh, as stamps. Over there, you can see the bat is going up there, there. Nice and easy. Let's do five of this. Well done, we're done with that. The next exercise, very easy. And remember this type of exercise you can do them alone at home. You don't need anyone. You just need your bat and your stamps or your bucket or your chair. Then start with the top hand. This is the main the batting this is the main hand. There. So let's start. One, two, three, four, five. And you can see my toe and my knee pointing one direction and you can see even my elbow see there nice and easy and look at my head position so my head is not up here it's down there let's say you want and it's very it's, it's a basic thing if i want to pick this cricket ball or this tennis ball i can't my head position can't be up here and i want to pick it okay i have to go down there same with batting. This time, yes, you're not using your hand to pick the ball, but you're using the bat to pick the ball. Because that is how you get the ball. So look at my head position again. You can see it's moving there. Let me show you from this angle. And I'm going to use my bucket as this comes. And you can see my leg in one straight line, so it's not there, it's not away there. They are always coming in, into the line. Cricket or any sports that includes eating is all about eating the ball through the line, so it becomes easier for you, draining that straight line. There, there. Nice. Nice. Hold on. Hold on. Well done. Nice. The next exercise for batting, very easy. You can do it at home. And this will improve your batting balance by doing this exercise. Nice and easy. So this is how we set up in cricket. Remember, every time we're gripping the bat so fast, it's our right hand, which is our bottom hand, and then our left hand, which is our top hand. So this is always for playing the ball. And in this, for the bottom one, it's just there to assist you. You're playing the ball, you don't, you don't need to use it much. The next one, very easy, here. Yeah. Set up, make sure you do that. Then maintain there for two seconds. Then you can go back, nice and easy. There. Yeah. And this is important when you want to become good in cricket, especially when you want to become good at driving the ball. 
there. Nice and easy. Let's do five. One. Two. Three. Show you from this angle. I'm going to use the buckets as the stamps. There, always every time when you're batting, back if the bat has to go above the stamps or at home. If you're using a bucket or a chair, make sure the bat is going above it. There. You can see, and you can see the position and the direction my blade is pointing. It's pointing where I want to play the ball. And you can see my body alignment. It's where I want to play that ball. Nice and easy. And maybe five. Make sure you hold that close. And that is how you get muscle memory for this exercise that we're doing. Number three. Number four. Five. And you can see that nice and easy. And the next one for, for batting is very simple. I know you guys have a tennis ball at home, an orange ball. This one will help you with, with when you want to block the ball or when you want to, to, to drive the ball. So it will do very easy from this angle there. And you can see my bat is covering the line of the ball, so there's no way this ball is going to go through and, and, and get me out the ball. See that? And every time you're doing it, make sure your head stays on top of the bat, the bat stays on top of the ball. Nice and easy. And, and you can see, and, and, you can, and, and you can look at my head position. It's there, on top of my, on top of my bat. And look at my knee. So don't, don't, don't straighten your knee. Every time, make sure you shift weight. Batting is all about shifting weight, whether you're blocking or whether you're striking the ball. Let's do 10. One. You can see my body alignment, everything is aligned to the line of the ball. Batting, every time you're batting, whether you're blocking the ball or whether you're striking it, it's all about aligning yourself to the line of the ball. So a baller will always ball on a straight line, and you're batting, you have to hit that ball through the line. You try and hit, hit it across the line, most of the time, you miss the ball. So try to your level best, hit the ball through the line. That is how you last on your bat. Do that last four. Last one. Well, now let me show you from this angle, from a different angle. There. Make sure you align yourself with the ball. Every time you're batting, taking ground is really important. You need to know where you need to have proper, proper footwork. And you can see there. So there's that stretch. You can see. Look at my knee. So I've so shifted weight. And then you, can, you, can, you can see my body alignment there. So all, all of my weight is going to my block or into my drive. Nice and easy. So let's do 10 of this. And you can see when I'm stepping, when, I'm, when I step forward, look at, look at the position of my bat. My, my bat is running along my body, not coming away from my body. If the bat comes away from your body, then you'll end up hitting the ball or missing the ball when you want to block it because you can't block it this way. Remember, this part of the bat is what you're using to block the ball. Nice and easy. See that? There, slow motion along my body, down there. Let's do 10. One. 
two more. Well done, everyone. I think that will be all for cricket. So the next uh, uh, next bit, Coach David is going to take you through a netball. Hi, everyone. I'm Coach David from Kavina School. Uh, so today I'm going to take you through a uh, netball exercise. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use a wall again. And uh, another one, if you have a partner also, I'm going to show you how to make use of a your parents or your brother or your sister okay so we'll start with the first one we'll start with the wall then we'll move to the to the next session okay so to start so this any age can do it okay we can do it even under nine can do this girls please you can just because we already done our warm-up so we are going through the main exercise okay so the girls you can just come close to the wall those are under nine okay can just come close to the wall and you can just and remember do not push it so hard because the ball might come back and hit your face which we don't want that okay so just come close to the wall like you can just do like five steps one yeah, like just count like two three four five like that okay then you can just come stand like this then just do like this one you can do it, you can even do 100, okay? In fact, uh, the more you do, the better, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do it. So we'll start, I'll start with 10, this one. So you can see one, two, and look at my my legs, okay? Don't stand like this, okay? For this one, you stand like this, okay? Because this will help you for your to get your direction, okay? So let's start, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can see the movement. Okay, okay. Then change other 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 side, other leg again. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can do hundred on both side. Okay. Then after that. We're going to move a bit back, okay? Then, try, don't stand like this, because if you stand like this, you're not going to get proper balance, okay? Just try to put your legs a bit apart, okay? Then, make sure this knees are bent, you can see, you can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. And you can see there's a bit of movement, movement, movement down there. Okay, okay. Always don't stand still like this. It's very risky because of in case of any small movement, you might injure your your knee, which is is very is not good. Okay, so try to to, to do like your there's a spring down there. Okay, so like move a bit like this. Okay, don't stand like this. No. Just you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then once you're done with that, you're going to move a bit behind again. So this one, uh, lower six, upper six, under 11 girls, okay? But try to not do it so hard, okay? Because we don't want injury because this ball is very hard okay so for under 13 under 11 you can you, you can move a bit distant okay because you need to because you guys are that's a bit bigger so you need to use a bit of power just move a bit behind okay again same side you can say again one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, and you can have a target if you want. Okay, you can have a target if you want. Okay, so you can draw something there to do that one. Okay, so that that can give you the direction that you want. It's good to have a target. Okay, so after this, we're going to move. I'm going to show you the one you can do with a partner on the 
on that other side. Okay. For the next drill, so I'm going to show you how to do with a partner, which I'm going to use uh, Coach Bernard here. So uh, he's the student, I'm the coach. So I'm going to show him uh, how to do it. So please uh, pay attention. Okay, so Coach Bernard, you'll have, a one, you'll have one ball. I'll have one. So you, you're going to, don't bounce it. I'll bounce it, then you. Okay, you I'll catch it. So you, you pass it uh, straight to me. Okay, so so let's go. So me, I'll bounce it. Okay, okay so let's go. No, only like this. Only like this. So I want you to, to give it. Let, let me show you first. Just pass it to me. So you, you are going to do this. Okay. Then me, me, I'm going to pass you this one like this. Okay. So it's going to change like that. Okay. So ready? Okay. Let's go. One, two, three. Fine. So you can all see that. So please, let's try and do it together. Please, okay? So let's do 10. Okay? So we are going to do together. Okay, ready? Uh, what's my name? Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Good? Yeah, so I'm let's good. go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Wow. You can see that. It's very fun. Okay, it's very very fun. You can do as many you can't. Okay, so after that we are going to move to next one, which is going to be straight. We are not going to bounce the ball, but you are going to do, pass it on this other side. I'm going to pass it on this other side so that to avoid the, the collision of the ball. Okay, so I'm going to show you. So this one at least I'll move back a bit. Okay, so me I'll give it on this side. Yeah, then you give it on that side. Okay. So ready? Let's go. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. So did you see that? So also that we are going to do because you you can't accept expect the ball to come straight to you every time. Okay. So we we are going to do five on this side, five on this side. Okay. So okay. Ready. One, two, three, four. Five. And then I think we can okay. change angle. Yeah. So we are changing angle now. Okay, so that you can see. Uh, okay. So I'm going to pass now on Coach Barnard's right uh, left side because I was doing on this other side. Okay. So Barnard, Coach Barnard, you're going to pass it on my left. Okay. Okay. So I'll pass it on your right. Okay. Ready? Okay. One. Oh, okay. two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you can see the movement is there, okay? Okay? Good. So, try to give it on side, so try to make it move, make it move sideways, okay? So once we are done with that one, we are going to do another one, okay? Same, same. Same, same passing, okay? We're going to do another one. So, Coach Maran, you're going to stand over there, okay? I'm going to stand here, we let's use this one. Okay? So you're going to pass to me, okay? So what I'll do, I'll just turn and catch, okay? And pass it to you. Then, then turn and catch, and pass it to you, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, ready? Okay, ready. Okay, you can all see that. Okay, I'm facing this side. Okay, so let's go again. Then pass it back. Then pass it back. Then pass it back. Okay, so please join me. Let's do this one again also. Let's do... Let's try and do this one, because this one we are not doing from both sides, we're just doing it straight, so let's do 10, of count of 10, okay? So ready? Okay, let's start, okay? Seven, eight, nine, 
and 10. Okay, and if you can add on that, every time you're passing the ball to, to, to your friend or to your partner, make sure it's it's chest tight, okay? So we don't want them, you know, and every time you're playing that ball, most of the time you'll find yourself, you know, using the reverse cup, using this. So using when you're using this technique, it's difficult for you to get the ball from here. So every time you're passing the ball, make sure you're passing it around chest tight. Like, and I can show you with Coach David, nice and easy. Coach David, step back a bit. There, you can see. There, to his chest. Easy for him. And if, you, if you try and, and, and get, get it lower than that, it will be very difficult for him. Coach David, let us show them. Move a bit behind. You see, over there, very difficult. You see, someone has to go down and get that ball. Very difficult. Coach David, continue. So, what is our next drill? Okay. So, please, guys, at home, this one you can just do it, girls and boys. Okay. Because it's also good for your reaction, it's going to help your reaction. Because, like I always say, uh, sports are different, but technique is all the same. Okay, football, cricket, tennis, because movement, yeah, it's all there. So, please do not choose. Boys, also try to do this with your sisters at home. Okay, this, that will help you for your movement and will also help you with your fitness. Okay, so for today, I'll say thank you and stay safe. God bless you. Thanks everyone.